How are you kind of processing these, these, you know, these waves, these seemingly endless waves of FUD? Like, well, how are you um, thinking through, like, if we only had done this better or if we only done that better, we could have kind of maybe preempted this or we could have, you know, we could have responded more quickly and cut this off? Listen, we, we, we got two big problems going on that we all face as an industry, right? So one problem is very, very powerful incumbents, right? Think about how proud we've all been over the last six months to say that we're part of a $2 trillion asset class. Isn't that amazing? $2 trillion asset class. But here's the bad news. The real estate market in America is $15 trillion. The U.S. economy is five times that. $2 trillion is not big enough to take on the banking system alone. So you've got a problem of incumbents really wanting to stop this and kill the baby in its crib. And the second thing you've got is the human mind. The human mind has what we call status quo bias. Mm -hmm. Any deviation from the status quo is seen as super dangerous. So sort of think about it, you know, a year and a half ago, we all put on our masks and that seems super scary. Now it seems super scary to take off our masks. Whatever you've been doing seems like the baseline. Don't fall victim to status quo bias. We need people to understand that making make-weight arguments against Bitcoin because it's not where you're used to is like making make-weight arguments that cell phones are going to kill you or that the internet's going to fry your children's brains. Nobody believes that anymore. But they believed it in the first year and we're still early on. So we need, just to put not too fine a point on it, we need more of your voices talking. Crypto believes that we can go off and build cool stuff and it will get adopted, but we need more people explaining the problems we're solving. Again, that's how I found out, fell down the rabbit hole, is because I spent 20 years working in the problem. <laughs> so we got to talk about what problems are we solving, which are very, very real. That's when we'll win the argument.